Hi everyone. So I found another recipe in this cookbook I want to try. And I'll find the page. There we go. It's another shortbread cooking recipe, but this one, as you can see, contains eggs. And less of the sweetener, so hopefully it tastes better. There's all the nutritional info for anybody who wants it. So I need the ethanol sweetener. I think I said it right. Vanilla. This is extract. Salt. And luckily my mini baking kit had a 16th teaspoon measure. Softened butter. I have it cut up for what comes uh, what it needs to be used for. An egg. But I need that out of the shell. There we go. And almond flour. I didn't have quite two cups of almond flour, so I had to use some mixed nut flour too. First, I need to set this oven to 350. There we go. Now I need the almond flour and add sugar. That's not sugar. Salt. And vanilla. Seems weird to add this into the dry ingredients, but okay. Now I'm just supposed to mix these all together, and this vanilla is a pain in the butt. Seems like it would have been better to mix it in with the egg. Now I'm supposed to rub in the butter. This is why I cut it up. And just rub. I did not like the texture of this one a little bit. Okay. Now the egg and mix this together. This egg was hard to mix in too. Now I need a baking sheet. Don't ask me why the lighting changed. And some parchment paper. Now to, since this is my last video for Valentine's Day, I'm going to try to form these into hearts. I have to say, when I started rubbing the butter in through the forming of these, this stuff smelled so strongly of Play-Doh. My only thought was, gosh, I hope this smell does not come through when they bake. So I would not want to eat them. Yeah. As I worked with it, this stuff started getting looser, so I had no trouble forming them. And just keep forming, trying to form hearts. As they get worse and worse as I go. Yep. And just keep forming. Keep going. Alright. Come on. Keep trying to make hearts. Keep. Now I'm doing circles because I'm tired of drawing the hearts. Circles were a lot easier. Let's form into balls, mash them down. Worked really well. There we go. Now into the oven. Uh, recipe says 15 to 25 minutes. I think I did about 20. And here's how they look. Nice golden brown, brown around the edges, just like it says. Now I have to put them on a cooling rack. This one broke when I did, but until they're cool. Let's see. They're a lot better than the last ones I made. A nice little nutmeg. Thanks for watching. Hi, hi everyone. Come on, work, Daniel. Hi, every. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone.